SNES Drunk. And we're back with SNES Drunk Plays Seeker to Mana. We're going to take the long way all the way back to... Um, I guess we'll go back to Pandora Castle to see what... Uh, I, I, I remember there being a shitload of treasure that you can get, meaning a lot of uh, weapon orbs, or at least a couple weapon orbs, I think. Oh, come on, you guys. Wow, my teammates suck. I'm gonna do the damn job myself. Okay. So what was I rambling about the last episode? The Scorpions? And and the lead singer from AHA? Something around, along those lines? AHA is one of those bands I... I guess you could I could call it a guilty pleasure, but it, that implies that I feel bad for liking them, and I really don't. <laughs> There's a lot of bands like that, like bands I should be embarrassed for liking. Like, I really like Duran Duran. I think they're great. I like Depeche Mode a lot. I've seen Depeche Mode live. I think uh, Dave Gahan and Martin Gore are great. Well, actually, it's Martin Gore does all the songwriting, but I really like Dave's voice, and I like uh, Martin as the... as he calls himself and his... British accent. What do you want? Okay, this is Kippo Village. Is there anything here at all? Probably not. Let's get out of here. My girlfriend's in the other room playing uh, Bloodborne. So we're in two different worlds right now. I'm playing Secret of Mana from 1993, and she's playing a PS4 game from... When, when did that come out? Did that come out last year or in 2015? I honestly don't remember. But it's a modern game, in other words. That's a really satisfying game to play. It's really fun, but it's really hard. <laughs> it's not just a hack... It, you know, on the surface, it's like, ooh, hack and slash, like uh, Dynasty Warriors and, and like, Secret of Mana. Just run around and, and fight stuff. But it's there's a lot more to it than that. You gotta... Be careful about uh, how you approach things. How, you know, there's a little bit of stealth involved in terms of like attacking enemies from the right angle. There's a lot of timing that you got to get down correctly. It's a solid game. I like it. Um, yeah, we just moved into. Uh, we're renting a house now here in New Mexico. There's a New Mexico. You know, that reminds me, um, one of the movers, actually, this one of the movers from uh, a, a, several moves ago, I was just thinking about this the other day, um, uh, I was able to get some movers, that, like actual real professional movers to help me move a long time ago. Um, this is like to move from, I don't even know, this is when I was in Minnesota, but um, I remember this one guy was... Uh, yeah, let's go to the castle. I think there's some treasure there for us, like a reward or something. Anyway, there was this guy who was from Israel, born and raised in Israel, or er, born in Israel. His family's in Israel, but he, for whatever reason, he ended up in Argentina, in South America, and uh, started eventually, you know, grew up there and started his own family there. And so he came to the U.S. Uh, trying to like make his fortune or whatever, you know, make money, and he sends it back home for his family. So he's he's moving and he's making a good living moving, uh, helping people move and all that. And uh, here, let's. Uh, oh, what the hell? Anyway, uh, he. Uh, I remember he. We started talking. He asked me, "Where are you from?" He's like, "Oh, I've lived in Minnesota my whole life." You know, he tells me where he's from and all that sort of stuff because I'm curious. All right, let's see here. Oh, okay. The king's in his room, sucking his thumb. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I've had a few drinks. Aha! <sighs> uh -huh, I was right. Okay, cool. Hey, that guy just disappeared. That's a cool little magic act there. Yeah, king's up and walking around. What about green hair over here? No oh, neato. That's just great. Free drinks for me in Pandora. All right, let's see what we got here. Anyway, the, uh, oh, well, whoopty shit, 50 bucks, really? Um, anyway, the guy asked me, where are you from? And I said, well, I've, I've lived in Minnesota my whole life. And he's like, no, 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 where, where are you from? Where is your family from? 
I was like, nobody's ever asked me that before. <laughs> and he's like, well, that's that's just you know, I'm from Israel and I was and I grew up in in Argentina. That's a part of who I am. Oh, a Spears art. That's pretty cool. What do we got here? Ah, there we go. The sword orb. Excellent. I forgot about that, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, he asked me that, and it made me realize, like, it's it sure seems like many, many Americans don't really think about that kind of thing. They don't think about where they're from. And as a... Re you know, when they think about where they're from, they think about the state where they're from, and, and that becomes their identity. Like, I'm from Minnesota. Whereas... If you're from another country, or if you're from, especially in Europe or the Middle East, where every, all these countries are just crammed together in such a small space, um, you really develop a sense of, uh, you know, identity and that sort of thing. Even in, in Italy, um, there's so many small little states, and every little village has its own, uh, you know, they hate all the other villages. Well, they don't hate all the other villages, but I've read all that, or all that all that sort of stuff where you know like every vi every little village in Italy has its own deck of cards for example like they, they're like no that village's deck of cards is a bunch of bullshit we need our own deck of cards and like so it's like the whole country of Italy has like a million different decks of cards and a million different ways of playing games and that's just one example anyway my point is the uh it seems like many Americans don't even think about, like, their heritage. Or they, at least they take it for granted. It, it sure seems like it. Because how often do I think about, where, the, where am I from? Where do I come from? And I'm a total mutt. I have a million different... Th uh, where am I? I'm German, Danish, Spanish, English, Irish, French. Uh, that's just to name a few. Uh, I'm a total mutt, though. It's... Lots of, like, travelers and lots of vagrants, apparently, came together <laughs> to form me. But, uh, oh, it's interesting, though, because, uh, you know, even my girlfriend, she, her, her dad uh, was born and raised in Mexico City. He doesn't speak English very well. Um, she was, uh, oh, that's right, I forgot to mention, yeah, the, this whole freaking water palace is now overrun with these crazy ass fish what the hell's going on somebody leveled up who was it penny nice going anyway yeah like I, now that i live in new mexico it's not that like the typical american like uh oh I'm, I'm from new mexico it's like no there's more than that here it's people are from mexico or they're from Central America, you know, whatever country in Central America, Honduras, or whatever. Same thing if you go to uh, Cuba, or, uh, Florida, you're going to find Cubans, you're going to find Jamaicans, that sort of thing. Ooh, music's going to kick it up a notch. I love that the, that the game does this. Let's get the, the freaking disco remix of this. <laughs> the, the field theme. Yeah, these guys are bastards. These guys are hard to fight. They have a lot of hit points. And they're the three-pronged fork things they have are annoying. I think we got a boss fight coming up right here. Yes, we do. Oh, not yet. We gotta go talk to these dipshits. Let's go on the left this time. Oh, hello, Geshtar. Geshtar of the Empire. Eh. You know what? If we hand it over, we'll just kick your ass and get it back. That's my policy. Don't run. Face your problems. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Is this the two-headed dragon? It is indeed. Okay. Alright, let's uh, blitz this guy with some magic. A Jabberwocky. Oh, yes, I've seen many of those in the wild on National Geographic. And 55? That's weak as fuck. There we go, that's one. Poison gas. Hold still while I gust you. Gold star to whoever gets that reference. 
I don't want to turn into H.C. Bailey with like 25 different references every Let's Play episode. I like H.C. Bailey, but that gets a little old sometimes. What? Am I dead? Oh, I'm unconscious. Everybody's unconscious. I wonder how many hit points this thing has. Probably a thousand? Maybe 800? 850? Oh. It's a lot. This may take a while. And magic doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. trying to spam this guy. And I got four left, and these are two each, so... Oh, spoke too soon... There we go. That's how you spam a guy with magic. You just keep fucking going like that. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Should probably get him more magic first. Duh. Got four earth slides. Look at that. You can just go right after that. Do another one. Ooh, he lost one of his heads. I like his expression. There we go. Look at that. I can still spam him even as he's exploding. Somebody leveled up. Alright! Fist pumps for everyone. Here comes the way to go. Wait for it. Way to go. That's your reward for beating a two-headed dragon. Forget the bow's orb. It's the game's recognition of your triumph by saying way to go. Anyway... We save Luca's sorry ass one more time. Boy, does she suck at maintaining her little water palace here. I mean, can't you, like, get an army? Hey, another whip orb. That's pretty badass. Look at this. Gemma leaves again. I mean, this is not a coincidence. Oh, he is not walking off yet, but... Oh, we got a... We gotta hold up the sword to the seed, eh? 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 You gotta fertilize the. Never mind. I won't go that far. <laughs> oh, here we get our grand mission. Finally. What is this? Part 16? Alright. So. We will uh, turn off the stairs, first and foremost, priorities, and we'll see you next time. They'll call us an episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.